early morning in Horton and Ribblesdale. Pike is out already. And today I'm heading um, to the west. I'm heading to the Cumbrian coast. Well, that's my plan. Um, via a couple of passes in the Lake District and some very good coffee. So my first uh, port of call, oh that's a nice view, the first port of call is to um, the bonus on Windermere and a cafe for coffee called Cafe Italia where they do exceedingly tasty coffee. So um, see how we get on. Just entering the village of Ostwick. Ostwick's quite a, a nice village to uh, to visit. It's got a very good pub, good beer and food. Also um, it's a super place to start a walk up onto Ingleborough or onto the Norbert Erratics, which is a particular favourite of mine. There we go, Gamecock. So I'm heading into some misty cloud stuff. I'm on the B5284. Recommended by some bikers yesterday as a nice way into the lakes. Uh, yeah, most pleasant so far. It is, yes, it's a very nice road. I think I'm going a lot slower than the guys I met yesterday would do it on their GSs. But, I'm still enjoying it in my steady way. I do like an early start sometimes, especially when you have a quiet road. It's a Sunday morning. Most people are having a, a lie-in. Not me. I'm looking forward to my coffee though. It is long overdue. I've travelled 38.9 miles just to get a coffee. Well, not just for coffee, but uh, this is where I'm going to go. A little bit of multi parking. That'll do nicely. Thank you very much. Cafe Italia. Recommended. Just had a superb breakfast. Cafe Italia. The weather a lot better than last year. In fact, a million times better than last year. So where am I heading now? I'm heading uh, to Little Langdale. Um, then over the Wine Rose Pass, Hard Knot Pass. I aborted those attempts last year. I didn't even try them. Because of the wind and stair rods. Wouldn't have made it particularly enjoyable. And I headed directly from here to Ravenglass. Which was, well, yes. Scarily wet. This year. Um, taking the, hopefully this more much more attractive route and um, see the difference morning Winderby and Bowness are really attractive places well I, I really like them something very I don't know it's unique about the the gardens the houses the architecture is unique to Windermere 
and uh, if you if you walk behind the houses and into the, the the fields beyond quite a network of paths we are Lake Windermere Lowood Bay Hotel and Resort looking across to the Langdales what a view This is Helwith Bridge here. Chester's by the river. Been there before. And if you like cakes, they do rather big cakes. Very big cakes. Uh, but also there's a lovely waterfall that one can walk to down by the river. So it is quite a nice spot to take a break, have a wander. Soon to turn off the A road. Here we are, Rhinos Pass this way. Right here's where we turn left. Extreme caution, narrow routes of ear bins. Mm. So here we are into Little Langdale. What an attractive valley from the nicest um, parts of the Lake District, in my humble opinion, for walking, especially around the valleys here. The only uh, issues with these passes, I'm going to probably eat my words now, hopefully not. Um, issue with uh, such a pass is one can get drivers who are, what should we say, uh, shouldn't be on the road shouldn't be on new roads. I guess unlike most motorbikes I've got the panniers on the back. <laughs> Probably quite a wide vehicle really for such a road. Still I'm still a lot narrower than a, than a car. Which must help a little bit. Another car coming. moaning about tourists coming over, motorcyclists, cyclists, camper vans maybe, who knows. I am at the, the bottom of Winerose Pass, um, so am I ready to head up? Um, yes, so first time over such a pass on a bike so uh, a little bit nervous why because when I was here um, a few years ago in the Land Rover watched a helicopter land before we headed over and uh, the crew jumped out of the helicopter and ran up to the Land Rover can we have a lift I gave him the lift up the pass and there was a poor motorcyclist who'd um, dropped his bike on a bend and uh, hurt himself so um yeah mm. right here we go Let's see how we get on and we said that it's not that easy in a car for some people oh the smell of burnt brakes in those two cars Yes, yeah, so not easy for some people in a car. 
or the wrong sort of car um, wrong sort of car well many cars aren't the right sort of car to go over here this bike is but is the rider that's me am I up to it um, let's hope so well the last bit of habitation before it gets a steep oh, look, they've been camping there very nice First gear job. First gear at the moment, anyway. I think I might be staying in first gear quite a bit. Wonderful view across there to the Langdale Pikes. How wonderful. Alright. Keep concentrating on the job in hand, Martin. Because I'm going to a higher gear. Third gear. Yeah, I think it's only just gentle at the start. Gets a bit more serious before long. This is a wine rose pass, and um, if I'm successful at this, I'm off to the hard knot pass. The hard knot pass being um, harder, as in hard knot. Well, never mind. Maybe you should not do it. It's too hard to not do it. I don't know. Hello, sheep. Keep an eye out for passing spots. One of the nice things about the GS, it has a parking brake function. Oh, that car, great. Car and sheep. <laughs> The old fan will be working hard on the GS, keeping the engine cool. I might stop and let that car get ahead. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's better. I don't want to be going too slow. A bit of progress is good. Oh, they're very pretty sheep. Very pretty, or pretty lambs. Pretty black lambs, black sheep. So the last few times I've been over here is in the Land Rover, which I stick in low range and it just makes it a doddle. Can't fall off a Land Rover. And in low range, it's fur. Just plods its way up with ease. enjoyable so far, not really too bad. There's a lot of revs. The first car on the rock goes only doing three and a half thousand revs. But I shall keep it in first gear. I know if I was one of those fast riders, I'd be in third gear, going for it. <laughs> this will do me, thank you very much quite good visibility uh, back there so it's really if you meet a car or something stop your your progress or momentum or it can be a pain ah am I at the top hmm. yeah, it looks like it oh, well. that was quite easy 
I didn't make it look easy though, did I? Very difficult. It was easier than I was expecting. Then we have got the hard knot pass to uh, negotiate next. Uh, maybe a, a different story. GS really does make light work of these hills. There we are, people to stop there for the maybe the highest point and a little look around. 1298 feet, my sat nav says, the altitude is. It's not super high, but super steep to get up. What a beautiful day to do it on. Now time to apply some brakes. Ah, oh, look at that for you. Fantastic. Can't really stop there because... Um, Firstly, I might drop the bike, because it's quite a steep hill to try and stop the bike on, and uh, secondly, um, not really good for people wanting to pass. So we'll just have to remember the view with the GoPro. That was good. On to the next. Okay, um, I'm at the bottom of the hard knot pass. Um, one of the things with the GS Rally is you have adjustable suspension. Normally leave it on auto. There's the extra high setting, auto, which levels it up to be perfect, which is brilliant. But there's also the low setting. So I've put it on low and I can put my feet on the floor and bend my knees now as there's some pretty um, severe hairpin steep bends up here I want to uh, give myself a good chance just in case I meet something coming the other way right here we go let's um, see how I get on key here is not to meet something on the actual on an actual hairpin. The problem being with the hairpins is the visibility. Um, there isn't always much visibility, as you can see. So going to be uh, ready and in a good position to be able to stop on the bike and not fall off. So hopefully that lower height will be good. Once I'm at the top, I'll put the bike back to its normal height setting and um, that, uh, that'll be nice. Actually, it doesn't really feel much different, although I think it does feel, you know, it does feel a little bit lower. Probably looks a bit funny to any passers-by who are used to seeing a GS jacked up high. This one's now sitting lower. Oh, I'm in third gear. Uh, but we haven't got to the evil bends yet. Now they're just ahead. Zigzagging up. Oh dear. Hello sheep. It's a bit shaggy that sheep. Shag sh oh dear. That's a bad word. Right, here we go. Got anything coming? Into first gear. Lots of skid marks so people haven't made it very well. But we keep to the left here. All right, we're okay. Keep to the left. Keep an eye out for cars. Nothing. Keep going. Brilliant. Still clear. Let's keep going. Oh, I'm lucky so far. Still clear, keep going. This is definitely more challenging than Wine Rose, which was a walk in the park compared to that. I think they're the worst bends over here. Oh, ooh, oh. worst bends. <laughs> here is what looks like the worst bend. Don't think anything's coming. 
got to do a bit of clutch slipping on this one. Yeah, we made it. Grab that one. Camper van coming, so is he waiting for me? Yeah. Or camper van or van with bicycles on the back. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Alright, almost there. Probably a good time of day to do it before it gets too busy. Oh, let's wait for that. Oh, that car's waiting for me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very good. You're going to wait for me. Thank you very much. Really say thank you very easily. Too busy on the clutch. Yeah, they camped at the top. Oh wow, well that's good. I think we're there. There are view towards the coast. Too bad. We've still got to go down and some severe hairpins to go. Cyclists, wow, they are they are super fit. Amazing. Especially when you've got a beard. Must make you hot having a big beard. <laughs> stop and take a photograph but it's too steep to leave the bike really. And first gear and braking are oh, that steep. Hope you can see the view ahead on the GoPro. In the foreground, say near so near distance where the sun is, is a hard knot Roman fort. And this is um, a bit, this is the corner where I had to bring the ambulance air ambulance crew. They part, parked their helicopter, landed their helicopter over near the fort, and I brought them up in the Land Rover. And this is where a biker had come a cropper. Oh God, yes. <laughs> yeah. You don't really want to be meeting something there on a bike. is a very trick. Down or up. I don't know how steep that is. Been spoilt we're going up in the Land Rover. Anyway, I think I made it. For those of you who think I'm going very gingerly and steadily, you're right. I make no excuses, but I didn't fall off, and um, I quite enjoyed it. In fact, that's the most important thing, isn't it? That you enjoy it. So, so my advice would be, if you're coming over, um, come when it's quieter, like I just have, fairly early morning, if it's a busy time of year like it isn't at the moment beautiful weekend um, before all the uh, hordes of tourists have finished their breakfast and turn up. The time now is 9.43 in the morning to give you some idea. I think if I hadn't sat having two coffees and a delicious breakfast at Cafe Italia I may have been here a little bit earlier. 
But again, the problem with the bike is uh, if you actually stop on one of those hairpins, can you keep it upright? So if you've got a GS, a tall bike, and you're not that tall, tippy toes normally, and if you can't lower the suspension, might be wise to think twice before coming over. Some of the tarmac's quite rough as well like that, so it knocks the bike around a bit. I think basically the tarmac gets pulled up by the traction of various people's tyres. Here's one angry pass. But the views are absolutely brilliant. I normally use a rear brake on this bike, but actually it, um, I usually use the, the, the linked brakes using the front brake lever. But actually, thinking about it, it does make it a little bit more stable going around these hairpins. Down, it's a bit late to know that, isn't it? To think that. Yeah, so there you go. Even with linked brakes, it's probably good to use the rear brake for the hairpinny bits when coming down. Just the suspension back, that was excellent. I do like the handbrake on the GS, look at that. Brilliant. So here we are, we'll hold the button in and oh. hold the button in, auto, there we are, auto suspension has now come up there. The ride height should now adjust. normal on its own accord now I'm in Eskdale the one good thing with a motorbike over such a pass despite what I just discussed about uh, if you have to stop and put your foot down on a hairpin be tricky on a bike. Um, one good thing about a motorbike is um, you really do have some powerful brakes, or well, this one anyway, to deal with the incline so it's not going to be any problem in stopping going downhill. Waving and wobbling at the same time. We'll pack in. The problem with these sort of roads um, is you don't really cover ground very quickly. It's a problem, it's not a problem if you don't want to cover ground quickly, but if you were actually wanting to make progress and you take too many ultra scenic twisty roads like this you may not make it that far in the day. Anyway, it's not a problem for me. My aim today was to do that. So, really pleased to manage to uh, make those finally. After the last year's aborted attempt in the rain. Not like I say, it didn't abort it, just didn't do it. Considering I came all the way up here to do it last year and didn't work that out. So this is uh, called Boot. It's a campsite there. And at Boot there is a two pubs. One here and one further down. And also it's the end or the start, whichever way you're going, 
of the Ravenglass Esk-Delmure Railway. To the right is the terminus or end point of the Ravenglass to Eskdale Railway. Dalgar Station. It's a very attractive uh, journey to make. Pick a date like today and you will not be disappointed. Um, my recommendation would be to park here and take the railway to Ravenglass, do a circular walk including the lovely coastline there and then back, but only do it on a nice day. Well, no, no, don't only really do it any day, but a nice day is better. Oh, that's stupid. I'm following three vehicles. Um, going quite slowly, what, 25 miles an hour. In the beautiful countryside, being on a bike, I can smell the pollution coming out of them so badly. Which one? Is it the one at the front? The one at the front looks the oldest. Well, there's a Volkswagen at the back, but we know all about those. But it's pretty horrible, actually. Here I am, right in the beautiful Lake District. I think pollution would be negligible. Fresh air, optimum. And the pong behind these cars is uh, not good. It stinks, really. Hmm. Isn't it funny how we start to uh, notice these things as time goes on? Never even considered it a few years ago. A bit of pollution coming out of a car. But now we seem to uh, take it more and more seriously. No wonder. Um, Diesels in cities are gradually being banned or taxed out or something. Really pretty horrible if you get a few of those vehicles in a city. You've got asthma. Mm, not good. So once you're over Hard Knock Pass, you're part of the, the edge of the Lake District, I should say quieter part of the Lake District. Less people, it's still beautiful. The more direct road to Ravenglass is closed. Taking this so far quite nice detour. Only six miles to go according to the sat nav. Another house in, that looks nice. Not left here. I do love the coast, as some of you would be well aware. So, so I'm really looking forward to getting to Ravenglass, even when they're last year in the torrential rain. I'm that keen on coastlines. The little Ravenglass Estelle Railway is just up there. And we've got the British Rail Railway. Not really trail anymore, but the main line rail services, railway bridge there. Let's see what a difference this year makes. Looks like the tide's in, just like last year. I do like Ravenglass, it's um, a charming place. And you've got this like uh, one little street at the front here that goes to, well, nowhere, or, or goes to some sand or something. Which last year the, the wind and rain, I shall find the video and uh, put it on. Wind and rain blue. The tide was right up. So how are we this year? Ah, tide is definitely not right up. Head down. The water. 
was up to here, wasn't it? That's a little bit different. Wow, what a place. Fantastic. An old anchor there. Right, it's time for a break, I think. The bike here. But I'll do. Yeah, time to stop, I think. And enjoy a little rest.